Hi, in this video I'm gonna explain what Max is, its history and how to install it and authorize it. We can generally consider Max a programming environment owned by Suckling74 and Ableton that does a set of tools to take information from the real world, process them digitally in various ways and send them back to the real world. For example, we can record sound, process it and send it back through loudspeakers. We can capture video in real time through a camera, process the video and send it back through a display. We can also connect a sensor that detects the movement of our body and use the data to control audio and video effects. And many other things can be achieved. Max is written in C and C++ languages and Juice framework. And it runs both on Mac and Windows, and the name refers to the libraries Max, MSP, Jitter, and Gen. So, what can you do with it? The software can be used for many purposes. Sound design, visual art, multimedia art, software prototyping, research, and Max for Live Devices development. All these possibilities were unavailable back in the 80s when Max was taking shape. At that time, musicians and researchers were attempting to control analog synthesizers by computers by sending MIDI messages. In the 1981, uh, there was a real-time scheduling algorithm where events had their own timing, and it was called RTSKED. That one was one of the first examples of a music program that organized computation in a multi-parallel unit, which could do something for a while, tell the system that they were done, and then wake up and start doing something again in response to a trigger. So multiple parts of the program um, were, were part um, of this working environment. And this concept was kind of similar to what a thread, thread concept is. Well, I'm not gonna talk about this, this subject in this video. Um, in the 1986, uh, Miller Procret was influenced by, by RTSKD uh, when he was working at ILCA, a laboratory research based in Paris. Um, and he was working on this 4x real-time uh, system, uh, which was a collection of multiple computer disks, modern Sun workstations, another computer for real-time, uh, some disk controller, and the real-time digital signal processor. So that were a bunch of computers talking to each other, uh, a specialized hardware that was doing some signal processing, and a general purpose computer that talked to it. That's where Max came from, basically a synthesizer on one side making sound and the general purpose program that's controlling it. So, Max is an implementation of a set of real-time process scheduling and communication ideas aimed at making it possible to design elements of a system which can be combined quickly and without changing code. Um, in fact, uh, instead of having one big program having an input, some processes, and then an output, where if you want to change something, you have to change the whole source code, you could work with an environment made with individual elements that can be combined quickly and without changing the code. In fact, in the 1988, um, Miller Pruquet um, coined this term the patcher, and he wrote also an article about it, which was a kind of a revolutionary uh, model of computation, where several software modules are waiting to be connected in the future by users, and each module told to each other modules uh, using generic communication and scheduling protocols. These modules are connected together through virtual um, patch codes like all telephone switching centers and like the modular synthesizers. So, um, Max has uh, unit blocks uh, called objects. And I know that if you are a C++ programmer, you might say this is not really an object because Max doesn't have an, uh, any notion of inheritance or other features that are common in object-oriented languages. Going back to, to, to this year, in 1988, 
um, Dick Carelli, which is what was the current Cycling 74 CEO, was involved uh, in the um, in this project. Um, yeah, because I mean, it, it was uh, invited there at Iacam at uh, that time, so to give a workshop, a workshop, and after the workshop was over, I mean, Le Pouquet um, invited the credit to work in the Max source code. Um, later on in the 1990, um, the kept working on the software um, and found um, the Cycling 74 company. And at the, and at the same time, Pocket um, called the project Pure Data, keeping the software open source. In the 1997, um, the MSP library was developed and uh, MSP is basically the library for uh, audio processing and which is based um, on the Max FTS DSP developed at, Arch- uh, at Aircam and also Pure Data is based on, on, on the same um, DSP. In the 2000s, um, the Jitter library was developed um, again by Cycling74 uh, employees and uh, this is a library for dealing with visual. Um, in 2005, uh, the software was uh, kind of redesigned using um, the Juice framework. And in 2011, um, the Gen uh, extension uh, was uh, implemented, um, which is a way of extending Max, uh, Max environment. Um, so you can use it as um, it looks like Max, but you can actually compile uh, the code um, and export it. So now let's have a look to the Max libraries and extensions and packages. So um, here we have Max, uh, a couple of, of Max objects. Um, here we have MSP objects. Uh, these are actually Max objects. This only this only object is a MSP object because it has this tilde. And this is a Jitter um, object. Uh, Max deals usually with general data like strings and, and numbers. Uh, source to say, um, MSP deals with uh, audio signal and uh, the Jitter mm, deals with uh, matrices. I'm going to cover all these topics later on uh, in the future videos, uh, but unfortunately I'm not going to talk about um, the Jitter library because this is going to be just a course of uh, audio programming. Um, so in Max we have also m- modules, uh, which w- have been recently implemented. Uh, one is Vizi, which is um, a collection of modules um, made for visual art. And uh, another one is called Beep, uh, which is uh, a way to simplify process of making, let's say, a synthesizer. Then we have, as I said before, the Gen uh, extension, where you can write code, you can export it, or you can just patch it as um, as it was like as in a normal Max environment. Then, uh, if you are a visual artist, you can also use uh, the GLSL shaders uh, language. Um, then, if you know Java, you can also implement um, Java, Java, Java code uh, in Max. Or, if you are a C++ programmer, you can also build your own object um, inside Max. If you are a JavaScript developer, you can also implement JavaScript code inside uh, inside Max uh, by using the object JS, and and also you can use the Node.js uh, library. Um, if you are not a developer and but you want to extend the possibilities of Max, uh, there are a couple of ways to do that. One is to go to um, www.maxobject.com where you can find the ob- external object built by uh, other developers um, 
they, they which they pursue, pursue like specific um specific tasks um and then we have maxforlive.com um, where we can download um sometimes also for free uh, max for live devices uh if you are an to live user or you can um download install packages which are a collection of objects uh, that work together for a specific um, task like generative music um, pff, uh, visual art and, and and many other things now um, I want to explain you how to download Max, install it, and authorize it. So first of all, you should go to this website, uh, cycling74.com slash downloads. Um, you can either choose a 30 days trial or get a license that can be permanent per year or a per month. And you can also get special prizes if you are an Ableton Live users or a student uh, or a teacher. Um, but you can get more information at cycling74.com slash shop. So if you are a Mac uh, uh, user, you should, after you is download the, the software, you should open the DMG file, or read the license agreement and click agree, and, and then drag the application into application folder. Add Max to the dock and eject the virtual disk image. Uh, which is basically the DMG uh, that was uh, that created this um, virtual disk image. Or if you are a Windows user, you sh after you download the software, you should start the installer, uh, run the installer, and let the setup wizard guide you. Uh, read the license agreement and click agree. Um, tell the setup uh, wizard where you want to install when you want Max installed on your local hard disk. Um, let's finish running setup wizard and delete the installer file. Now, you should open Max. Um, go to the menu bar in the on the top if you are um, a Mac user. Otherwise, you're going to have uh, like a menu here um, uh, on a window. Um, and you should click on file and create a new patch. Now you should have a kind of window like this, um, where you where, where where there is um, a message uh, that says um, "trial not started, saving disabled." Um, then you should click on it, and um, and this um, this window is gonna pop up. And uh, if you didn't create an account uh, yet, uh, you should, and then sign in. Once you do this, the um, the software will be authorized. With that said, uh, now you are set up to start working and learning uh, Max. But before that, I want to um, say something about learning. So programming languages are like human languages. So first of all, you need to know nouns, verbs, articles, and letters. A programming language has numerous keywords, each with a specific function. And the first stage of learning to program is to know the fundamental components that form the basic vocabulary of a programming language. So what I'm going to do in the next videos is to explain you the, how Max works, uh, what an object is, uh, how to connect uh, the objects together, and what's the general logic of Max. So um, stay tuned and see you on the next video. Ciao.